Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons here on day three. Now I've actually played a little bit of the game today because today is Sunday and I waited around town to buy some turnips this morning from Daisy May, who is Joan's granddaughter if you're familiar with the series. She's now around selling turnips. So I did buy a few turnips this morning. Um, I've actually got them on the floor of my house <laughs> currently, which isn't ideal. Um, so I might put them outside because the thing is you can't put them in storage. So that's the only problem with the old turnips at the moment, but I might put them outside just to see if I can attract some ants, which is a bug that you've been able to catch uh, in previous games. So we'll see if the ants are still around. Also, I did pay off my loan yesterday, so my house is a little bit bigger. I found this huge teddy bear who's taking up this corner of the room. So we don't have much in the way of furniture right now, but bits and pieces, things are starting to come together a little bit here. So the other thing I did yesterday was I managed to build up my shop. So I gathered all the materials, 30 types of all the wood and 13 iron nuggets. And the shop was built today. So this is Nook's Cranny, which is where Timmy and Tommy are currently residing to sell their wares. So I went in here and I, I bought all the furniture and such. So there's two pieces of furniture at the back that I've already purchased and there's these two at the front here which you can buy multiple of. And there's also all the previous things that they were selling inside the cabinet. As well as some um, wallpaper and flooring as well. So there's there's more stuff to buy here. So I've kind of cleared this place out for today but I figured I'd show it was here. And Nook did say that we could hold an opening ceremony, so let me go over to resident services real quick. And let's hold a nice little welcome party for the for the new shop. So Nook actually <laughs> he's got his golf clubs and his little practice putting range in here for in his in his downtime, you know. Hey Nook. Um I would like to hold a ceremony for the for the new shop because I think that'd be really cute. Nook's cranny, yes, please. Splendid, let's get started. Oh, we're all here. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring the Lee Girls brand new Nook's cranny. Woohoo! It's so cute. It's lovely to see this building back. Thank you. The little girl truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here. But now, it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words as representatives of the new Nook's cranny. Timmy, Tommy, if you would please. Thank you, Lily Grove. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make it the best shop, and I hope we can count on your business. They are so adorable. <laughs> Woo. Yes, yes, thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions towards seeing Nook's Kearney built. Of course, I mean Nicola, our resident representative. Yes, I did gather all of the materials, all the materials, so... Let's say... Woo! Woo! <laughs> So happy. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready. Oh man. I mean, I'm recording this, so technically I don't need to, but. <laughs> With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Lily Crow's beautiful next cranny. Hooray! Yeah! Clap, clap, clap. Aww. That's so cute. Cool, so we have a, an entirely new building, new shop, which I just decided to place right next to the plaza for now. So every day um, there's a hot item which is gonna be bought for double the amount of bells, and for me today it was the wooden table emitter. So actually today I made 
a lot of wooden table mirrors and I've been selling them so I've actually made quite a lot of money which is really good. Um, they are only, I think it's three woods and uh, an iron ingot. So I made, I made quite a few. Um, I made a good bit of money so yeah that was the thing that I've been doing today. They sell for just over 2,000 bells each so pretty, pretty darn good. So I've gathered a lot more flowers actually. Um, I've been on a couple more visits to other smaller islands so I've managed to get uh, some cool resources. Um, actually up here I'll show you. My cat is meowing, <laughs> you might be able to hear her. Roxy shush please. <laughs> um, over here I actually found an island that had some bamboo on it so I brought some bamboo back and you can chop this to get bamboo pieces. Cat? Shush. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I found some bamboo. I still only have pears and those apples that I got in a letter. So I, I don't, I haven't actually encountered much more in the ways of fruit yet. Um, but I did find the bamboo, which is really good. So, oh hey Pierce. You're just hanging out here. Phoebe's over here as well. Oh, <laughs> she's trying to catch a butterfly. She's trying to see if she can do it. The thing is, the villagers won't actually catch them because it would stop the player from catching them, but it is kind of funny to see them trying to stalk it. So the museum is currently still being built. Um, I imagine we'll get that tomorrow, which I'm very much looking forward to. And down here I planted some more trees. So I have my apple tree and they're all growing successfully, which is fantastic. So if I take a quick wander over here... Ooh! I don't have you yet. Hold on a second. Nice. I like to switch to the kind of more the, the top down view um, when I'm catching bugs because I find the perspective to be a little bit weird otherwise. Let me just like drop my um, my turnips here see if there's ants in this game. I'm not sure I haven't actually looked up the bugs and fish list because I want to be surprised and find the stuff myself. So let me drop all of this stuff down. So the other thing that happened this morning actually when I was playing is that Nook um, instructed me to build a bridge in town. So I've already crafted the, the bridge itself but I'll show you the um, recipe if I can find it. Where's the bridge? Hello bridge? I guess it's not in here because I've already made it. Well I can look at my recipes I suppose. Let me get my buttons right here. Do, 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 do. Okay I guess I can't look at the recipe for the bridge. Point is I have the bridge. It's right here in my bag. Um, so I'm gonna go and place this, or rather figure out where I'm gonna place it, because I was kind of thinking up here. Roxy, can you stop shouting please? Cat, <laughs> why do you do this to me? <laughs> She's shouting at birds outside, I'm, I'm sorry friends. Um, let me just... <sighs> Roxy? Roxy! She is a monster. Um, I was thinking about building here. There's no river here I can place a bridge over. Do I need to face this way? Oh, okay. To place a bridge you need the river to be just the right width and the land on either side should be even. Um, does that mean I have to stand here then? Let me just- yes, hello, I hear you. You're being very loud. <laughs> yes, honey, come here. Look, come here. Oh dear. Oh dear. We just want a cuddle. That's okay, we can- we can manage that. Alright. Hi, I see you. Alright, give me a moment here, friends. Let me figure out how this placement works. Because I kind of want it to be horizontal. 
Nope, I'm just not quite sure where to stand to get it to work. If it has to be diagonal, that's also fine. Uh, let me try here. Come on, game. It's because it's this larger diagonal space than the actual river. It's kind of odd. Gosh, how strange. Um, let me look at my map here. Yeah, I, I just, I kind of want it... Maybe here would work better. How about here, game? Aha! There we go. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Oh, <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> You're cute. Sure, let's, let's put the bridge here. This'll work fine. Woo! I picked a spot for a bridge. Let the land connect. All right. So this is kind of opening the way for getting more villagers and getting more villagers um, involved with housing, I think. So something I did was on my island tours, I found two animals that I liked. So I invited them to the island, but they haven't shown up yet. Not entirely sure of all the prerequisites surrounding that. So let me go talk to Nook and tell him that the bridge has been built. Because he, he basically just announced this to me this morning. So let's see what he has to say. Ah, uh, Nicola, hello, hello. So, did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? I did. Splendid, excellent work, thank you. And tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for a bridge construction to finish if you want. Or you can just ask me, what should I do? Well sure, let's see what's involved in building houses. That sounds good. Bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but you want to start on the homes now? Please take these three housing kits. Okay. So I guess we can just place these. Three homes. Each housing kit comes with a list of furniture required. Ooh, fancy. All right, let's get some recipes, shall we? I actually got a couple more recipes from Timmy and Tommy's shop uh, for furniture pieces. So yeah, we're, we're really building up our collection of furniture now. Oh, I did a, a Nook Miles as well. <laughs> Cat. Um, what did I do? Have a nice DIY. More recipes. Savvy and intellectual. Nice. Sounds pretty good to me. Um. What did I catch? Oh yeah, I caught this orchid mantis just now. So pretty. They're a lot more pink than they were in previous games. Um, let's have a look here. We'll sort by order obtained. There we go. Ooh, we've got some cool stuff. Pitcher, chair, a bed, water bump, log stool. I like the garden table and chair. That's really nice. A wreath. Oh, a nice pear bed and pear wardrobe. Heck yeah. Of course they're made with pears. That makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> cool. Um, what's this down here? Ooh, I can make the ladder. Interesting. Okay. Man, there, there's, there's, geez, there's a lot going on. So plot one, plot two, and plot three housing kits. All right, well, I guess we could go and think about where we want to place all of this stuff. So at the moment, everything's been on this mainland, but we have this bridge coming along, so we should probably put some of these housing plots not on the mainland. Seem to make the most sense. I find this... <laughs> I found this exercise ball, so I put it near Pierce's tent because I figured that he might want to use it. So, um, over here, we've got a pond up here, which I quite like. This sort of area up here is really pretty. I feel like I'd want to put some kind of nice building right here. I think that would be good. Um, let me have a look-see. So... 
I could probably put two villagers over on this side and then maybe one on the other side. That might be quite good. So the bridge is going to be over here. Let me see if I can put a house down kind of between these trees. Oh gosh. Oh, we need a lot of room for the houses. Okay. Um, how about down here? How does this look? Um, let me see what it's going to look like. Hmm. I guess it just needs a lot of extra space around it. Interesting. Okay, that one's fine. Plot one, complete. Yeah. I love that we get a jingle just replacing that. Phone is ringing. Ooh. Hey, Nook. Hi. <laughs> so weird that you're phoning me. Got some ideas. Stupendous. I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home that will show you the items required. Okie dokie. I see. So we need to put the decorations in the required space, I suppose. Alright, cool. So let me have a look here. To all construction helpers, please submit items for this building following the specified procedures. Okay. Ah, so we need pair stuff for this house. Don't have any of that at the moment. And then outside? Stone tool, stool, table, and a clothesline. Alrighty. We'll probably do all of that later on tonight. I don't want to bore you with gathering materials and such. So I think we'll want to put another house over in this side because it's quite big. So um, fairly close to the other one. Why don't we go for a roundabout here? Have you decided on what your town tune's going to be? Not yet. No, I'm still kind of thinking about it. I'm not quite sure. I've had a couple of ideas, but I don't know how well that they would translate to tunes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, I'd maybe like to walk just a teeny bit further back here. Yeah, that seems about right. Here's plot two. Oh. My phone's ringing again? Jeez, do you not trust me or something? <laughs> yeah, hi, again. I need to get a wreath made from flowers. Yes, I need to make the ladder. So I'm finally gonna have access to the whole island now with the ladder, which is pretty great. What does this house need? Wooden block stereo and table, all right. I don't have right now and exterior. Ah, the iron garden chair and table. Nice. And a birdhouse. Ooh. Man, that's gonna be real nice. So these two are gonna be like neighbors. I think that's cute. Um gosh, I could probably put the third house over here as well, you know. Cause the thing about the right hand side of the island is that I think it looks kind of cool as it is and it's quite natural. Um, so maybe we'll put three houses over here. Don't know if I want to put another one quite so close to the beach, so we'll just kind of have them scattered down here, I guess. How's about here for plot three? See, I don't want it to be too close to the other one. I don't want it to overtake move down a little bit more. Eventually I'm sure I'll come up with a more elaborate housing scheme but I think for right now this is going to be pretty nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Is Roxy still on your lap? Yeah she is. Look here I'll, I'll tilt the- <laughs> there you go. Here's Roxy cam. She's very much- recently she's been like a complete lap cat and I don't really know why. Just out of out of nowhere, she just wants all these cuddles, so... Yep, she's here. 
Alright, here we have housing one, two, and three. Which looks pretty pretty cool. I'm happy with this. Um I guess I'll have to make all of these pieces of furniture and whatnot. But let's make a ladder and we can explore the highest points of our island. Uh, let's do a craft. So the ladder needs four type of every wood. Locally dopely. I will have to go inside and pick up my materials because they're in storage at the moment. I managed to do quite a bit of foraging on other islands, so I have a decent amount of <laughs> materials now. Yeah, quite quite a lot of materials. Although not so much of the regular wood because I was building those mirrors out of it. Um, so yeah, I, I did use quite a lot of my materials to make some cash money. Let's make ourselves a ladder, shall we? Yes, let us craft one times ladder. We can go get some tulips. Woohoo! Perfect. Um, is that on my tool wheel? Yes, it is. So let us just run over here. Woo! <laughs> Man. The, the pole vaulting just looks like so much fun. I don't think I'll ever get over how fun that looks. All right, I want to do a climb. All right, we're up here. Yeah, another place for me to do all the weeding and looking after of. Nice waterfall here. So we have all the cedar trees up here. Very pretty. Because the rules for cedar trees before was that you could plant them in the northern half of your town. I wonder if that's still the same or if, I wonder if it's based on height. Oh wow, look at these. Another further layer up here. I'm not sure what's up here. Let me take another look. With a trusty ladder. Oh yeah. Here we are. We're on top of the world. Oh, I love the source of the waterfall. I think this is so pretty. I mean, look at that. It's so incredible. Looks like there's a pond over on the other side. I suppose I could dig up some of these tulips and bring them back, or I could just pluck them right now. I'm more interested in just having a look around here. Let's hop back down. There's another orchid mantis. I didn't mean to scare it. Dang it. Ooh. Things to dig. Yes, please. I actually found four fossils today. But of course, the museum being uh, built means that I couldn't have them assessed. So they were just waiting in storage till Blathers opens up the museum and then we can get rolling on the old fossil collection. I may as well dig these up while I see them. Another rock, excellent. More material options here. Gosh, it's so bizarre being up on these cliffs after not being able to access them for a while. Let me take a look at the tip top of this side. Oh wow, it's so cool up here. This nice pond. Man, I feel like my island, just as it is now, is really, really pretty. Like, I think the layout I've I've been really fortunate with, I think it's really pretty. Man, with all these tulips and weeds as well. <laughs> I think the weeds look really nice, but I'd rather place them down in more of a, a design a designy way. Um, so for the moment I'm picking them but I'll probably replant them. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna pick up these tulips and take them down to the lower levels just so it's a bit more convenient to water them. And then I'll hopefully produce some more and we'll produce some hybrids and that'll all be really nice. Sorry ladybug, I need this. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to plant these all. I kind of have this flower patch growing next to the plaza. And we can harvest all the tulips that we need to make this um, wreath for the houses as well. So we have red, yellow and white, the classic colours. I'm really interested to see how many colours of all the different types of flowers there are. Because in New Leaf they added um, the violets and the lilies, but there weren't that many colour options, which I thought was a real shame. So I hope that they've actually expanded that a bit more. Alright, let's hop down. How many do I have? I have quite a few. It's probably good. We might need another, another red one. And then everything else I'll just pick up when and where it seems appropriate. Yeah, it does look a little bit like city folk. Or let's go to the city. For sure. Um, let me see. So this house needed a wreath. Did I check what this house needed? Let me double check. Real quick. Interior. Okay, so they need the, the bed. And the chair. So it looks like we only need one wreath. Let me check the procedures here. So it's interior and exterior. Either to the front of the plot or to the side. So they have to be close by like that big rectangle. That's totally fine. I can manage all that. Ooh, jump over here. I haven't seen Pierce use his exercise ball yet, but I really hope that he finds it and enjoys it. It's blue like he is as well, so... Yeah, I think I, I have some tulips growing here already that I got from seeds. Um, but we can, we can plant all these. Regardless. Um, let me do... From here. And then we'll just check and see what we need to make the wreath. And get that made as well. Then we'll have all these houses nicely prepared. So I, I have invited two islanders. Um, so we'll see how this whole thing works shortly. Ah, I'm gonna have to go and get one more red tulip just to neaten things up here. It's okay, I can do that whenever. There's plenty up there. Let me go and check my recipes for the wreath. So we need three of each. Perfect, we can do that. Oh man. Let me just take another quick look at everything. I assume it's the thing I have to pull off the top. Yeah, that's right, cool. So we need some clay, lots of regular wood, which was my concern because I've used so much of it. A little bit of iron to make this furniture, but it should be okay. The pear furniture. I'm assuming that's because I have pears in my town. Otherwise, you'd maybe have to make like the Apple TV or the orange table or something like that. I'm not sure if there's any peach furniture. So I'll have to look at that actually. That'd be quite interesting to find out. Yeah, we need lots of pears to make this. And the clothesline. I actually have a clothesline um, over by my house just as a decorative thing. Because um, I found it as a furniture item, I think from shaking a tree or a balloon or something like that. Um, so I, I'm starting to put a couple pieces of furniture outside. See, I have this clothesline here. So I also made a bench and I put it over there because I thought that was a really nice spot to go and sit down. I think this bridge will be great. It goes right past my house and everything. Again, I don't really have any long-term plans for stuff in terms of placement. We're just kind of playing it by year. Let me make this wreath. Just since it's on my mind and I have materials for it. Awesome. All done for now. 
So yeah, um, the old turnips. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to make a profit. I did spend just over 50,000 bells. Um, my, my price was 101 bells per turnip, which is kind of about average, I would say. So yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful that I'm gonna make a, a profit. Fingers crossed. That would be the ideal situation. You just caught an oarfish? Nice. I haven't caught one of those yet. I did catch a sturgeon fish, which I think is really the only rare fish that I've caught thus far. Hey Pierce, how's it going friend? Hey, we meet again. Word is Tomnick scouted you for his find the Lero some new faces team, solid draft. The more neighbours we have, the more muscle mass we can all build, that's science. Oh man, I love me some science. <laughs> Phoebe, how are you doing? Sharing me with attention. <laughs> I've only talked to you a couple times today. Yeah, I'm on neighbor patrol. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go hopefully on another couple of visits to other islands to see who I can find. Because I found two animals so far. So it'd be, it'd be nice to find a third that I really liked. Um, shoot, what was I gonna... I, I thought of something that I was going to go do there and I have immediately forgotten. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Oh well. Man, look at this place, all this nature-y stuff. Turnips and flowers and goodness knows. Um, let me see. So I need to go store this orchid mantis in my fossils. So let me do that real quick. And I do have a Nook's Mile ticket in my inventory, so... We, we could go and um, do a little island exploration. Put that in storage. That too, we can take it back out later. Keep my ladder on me just in case. Put this wood away. And I will just grab some branches and some stones just in case I need to make some more tools while we're out there. Because you can buy tools for nook miles, but it's kind of, it's not a waste, but it's, it's better to use the raw materials if you have them anyway. So yeah, this whole housing plot thing's giving me something else to do today, which is fun. So I've kind of done most of my chores already because I got up early. Well, not early, but I played the game early to do some turnips stuff. So let me head over here to the old airport. Good day Orville. Um, I would like to fly please. Um, I would like to use my ticket. We'll see what happens. Time for takeoff. So I'm not really sure on villager limitations. I was kind of saving my third spot for someone who I really, really, really like. But I don't know if the game's going to automatically fill those spaces for me or not. So I think I'll probably just stick with the two that I have at the moment. And if a third one shows up who I really like, we'll go for it. And if not, that's okay. We'll just wait and see what happens. Thank you, Wilbur. I appreciate it. Alright, let's see what we got here then. Stuff. Got lots of cedar trees. Who is that over there? I feel like I recognize them, but I'm not sure who they are. We got pear trees again? Oh my gosh, I've been on four island tours and I have one bamboo and the rest have been pears. So <laughs> we're not having the best of luck. Oh, is that you, Roxy? You're, are you going? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Just sit there. You moving? Maybe? Possibly? You gonna jump up? You're thinking about it. Nope, okay, you just sit there, that's fine. It's clay, of course it's- oh, there she goes. Of course it's clay, I remember clay. Man, he has a really cool design actually. So unfortunately, all these flowers I already have, as well as the pears I already have. So that was kind of a bummer, um, but I'll still forage all of this stuff because that's what these places are for. 
so I'll be sure to chop all the trees and gather everything. Actually, some where to dig here. Grab this. Free fossils, thank you very much. Guess I can fix my camera. <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. Play my virtual life with my virtual animal friends and then my real life with my real animal friend. <laughs> if we have no luck, you can trade oranges and apples for pears. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in a huge rush, but um, I'm happy to do some trading just if it's kind of convenient, you know? And look at this narrow little pathway here. At least I have a ladder so I can I can look at all the, the high up stuff as well. Alright, let's do some some tidying, shall we? I find it really satisfying just to um, loot these entire islands, like completely get everything. So we'll see what we've got here. Do some button mashing. Actually, if you dig the two holes like this, um, not only does it stop you from bouncing back, but it also lines you up perfectly if you do the little jump. So, pro, pro tactics here for gathering. But yeah, I could really do with some more iron. That's kind of where we're at for materials and everything. Because I did get a little bit carried away with money making this morning. So usually what I do is I'll actually um, chop all the trees and shake all the trees and whatnot and then I'll leave everything on the ground until I can um, gather everything up. I'm not sure if I can... Yeah, this is kind of an awkward space here. So I feel like I could probably do it from here but I'm not sure. Clay, can you, <laughs> can you please just like move yourself? Thank you. Feels bad, man. Poor Clay. Yeah, I don't think I'll be inviting Clay to live on the island. That is just fine. Clay, don't you dare. Oh, Clay! <laughs> no, stop. I'm trying to do the rock thing. You monster. Aww. Oh. You. <laughs> I may waste so many materials, dang it. Oh well. Yeah, like I said, I don't really need to take any of these flowers back, but I can harvest them and then sell the individual flower heads when we get back home just for a little bit of money. You know, if you want to like go all out and make the most of your Nook Miles ticket, this is absolutely the way to do it. To just pick up everything that you can. You can catch bugs and fish as well while, while you're at it. I don't think I've ever actually gotten a fossil from one of these yet, so that was cool to get a fossil. I'm happy with that. Uh, let me get out road ladder. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we've got some pear trees up here. May as well grab them. Or grab the pears rather. I'd rather um, leave the trees here. I can chop them for wood though. Hoping for regular wood to restock as opposed to hardwood or softwood because I have quite a lot of that left over. It's also very wise to have your net out <laughs> just in case the wasps come because um, it's fairly common to have a wasp on one of these islands and they actually sell for quite a lot of money so if you're prepared um, it's quite good to try and catch them if possible. Sometimes it's a little bit awkward with the spacing of everything because some of these islands can be kind of small but we'll, we'll do our best here. We can sort of sidestep around this tree. It's like right on the, the angle so it's a bit awkward. Grab some stuff here. Hello, Clay. <laughs> it's like looking up at me, like, hey, how's it going? Alright, let's try and get some wood. Lovely. Usually, I wouldn't mind one of each type of wood, but honestly, <laughs> I've just depleted my stock so much. 
Yeah, normal wood, please. That is exactly what I need. So I am going to try and upgrade my house today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to quite afford it because like I said, I, I did buy turnips. Um, but we'll see how much money I have. I, I quite like to just keep upgrading it just to see, you know, what happens, I guess, um, as we do more and more upgrading. Because obviously we've got our happy home score to think about, but I want to see if it unlocks any cool things and what the living options are for rooms and such. Oh yeah, look at this. Loads of iron nuggets, that's exactly what we need here. Let's harvest all this up. Delicious. At this rate I might be able to make some more um, <laughs> wooden table mirrors. Gosh, made so many today. Uh, let me just switch to my net just in case something falls out the tree. I usually like to shake the trees a few times just to see what happens. In my experience, you usually get a piece of furniture while on these islands, so keeping a lookout for that. And we may as well pick up the coconuts too. I did plant some on my beach back at home. Switch to my axe real quick, chop some wood. It'd be interesting if the palm trees gave a different type of wood, like palm wood. But there's already three types, so it's probably enough. But I've been um I've been collecting wood like this in my town every day. So harvesting as much as I can from all of my rocks in my town and trees. And I've been doing that every day just so that I can stockpile you know, materials for when we eventually have to build things like the shop. I want to be ready. I want to be um, prepared for building all these things because I know that if, you know, the time's going to come when I'm going to need all these things and I may as well do it ahead of time. Plus, it's just fun. Like, gathering stuff is just really fun and really satisfying and I love visiting these little islands like I said and just picking them clean, <laughs> like weeds and all. So yeah, it's, it's super relaxing and super fun so far and I feel like I'm making as much progress as I can be doing because I'm, I'm building all these projects, you know, I'm, I got blathers and the museum's coming along. So lo lots is happening day to day and I think having more islanders on the island will make the place feel a lot more lively. Because right now with only, you know, Phoebe and Pierce, things are a little bit quiet. So I'm looking forward to having more animals around. I think that'll be really, really fun. And just make things a bit more interesting. Plus I've invited two really cute animals, so I'm excited to have them walking around my town. They're both very pink, so they'll certainly bring um, some colour to Lily Grove. That is for sure. There's a honeybee here. Sorry Mr. Honeybee, I've taken all your flowers. <laughs> I do apologize. I like that the music goes quiet when you go near the beach so you can hear your fishes properly. Although like I said before, I think fishing in this game is actually pretty straightforward and it seems a lot easier than New Leaf, but maybe I'm just out of practice with with New Leaf. I'm not sure. All these- aha! This is why we have the net out. Just like that. <laughs> I think they're worth two and a half thousand bells for wasps. So you can actually make a decent amount of money. Plus you get the beehive as well. Which I've read can be made into medicine, but I don't have the DIY recipe for it yet. Uh, let me just quickly make another net, because I don't want to be without one. Fortunately we were able to find branches on this island, but I brought some anyway because, for example, um, the bamboo island I found only had bamboo, so I couldn't find any branches, so I actually had to pay Nook Miles to um, get some tools from Wilbur 
So that, that wasn't the best. Let's see what we got here. Any more for any more? I see some weeds hiding behind here, so... Hey, there we go, furniture. A writing desk, ooh. I feel like that would fit in really well in my home right now. I've actually got some really cool, like this little craft desk, like an illustrator's desk. It has like the lamp underneath. And I got a paint set as well, so I feel like it's turning into this really creative art spot just by coincidence of all the stuff that, you know, I found while walking around here and I'm totally okay with that. I think that's pretty great, so bring it on. Writing desk sounds perfect. I quite um, enjoy having that garden table and chairs outside my house as well, so I think I'll be making the furniture for these housing blocks and then also making some for myself just because I like the sound of a lot of the furniture. Let's switch to the axe here, get some more wood. Lovely. I very much like to grab everything I can from these places because once you've got everything from your island every day, there is the, a somewhat, you know, a hard limit on gathering certain materials like wood. So I'm trying to make the most of it, just trying to be prepared as much as possible because I can predict, you know, me wanting to craft every piece of furniture in the game and, you know, obviously all the building projects like the the bridge and Nook's Cranny all take these kind of materials, so prepping is definitely worth it. Ah, rest in peace, Flimsy X. Let me go make another one real quick here. Thank goodness they provide you with a crafting bench, right? Um, I would like a Flimsy X, please. I haven't been hugely motivated to upgrade my tools. Um, so I've just mostly been using the flimsy stuff. Um, we'll see how far that takes me. You get the recipe for medicine if you're stung and talk to a villager? Aha! That makes a lot of sense, thank you. I'll have to deliberately get stung then just so I can have the recipe unlocked. I don't think there's gonna be more bees. Uh, or wasps rather, but I'm still slightly nervous. I have my tools positioned so that if I tap right, I switch from my axe to my net so I know exactly, you know, how to be prepared for this spooky inevitability that is wasps. So I think we've just got this tree over here and we're almost done scavenging this place. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh dear. Did I chop this tree? No, I didn't. I might be allergic to this island. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well, I think that's just about us. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, we harvested all of this cool stuff. Pears. Got this writing desk, which I'm actually really excited about. I think we're all ready to head back home, actually. So long bugs, so long fish. Sorry I took all of your stuff. <laughs> it's just how it is, you know? I'll see you later, Clay, as well. I'm not ready to invite Clay to Lily to Lily Grove, but we'll see. Yes, I'm ready to go. Lifting off. Dodo Airlines are awesome. <laughs> I love the whole design and aesthetic and everything. I think it's it's really funny. I also love this really old like CRT television in the corner there with all the times. Uh, that's just great. <laughs> so let me go and uh, drop off all this loot here and we'll have a little think about um, what I want to do for the rest of the day. I'll definitely work on building all the furniture and setting up the three houses because that seems fantastic and then I'll talk to Nook and let him know. Um, yeah, here we have this writing desk, let's see. Oh nice, it's too wide. 
and the wood color fits in really nicely here. Wow. It's a shame that you can't really put anything on it, but it already has cool stuff on it, so, you know, it's not that... <laughs> it's like there's pros and cons. I'm gonna have to go get another chair as well. I can put the chair there for the meantime. But yeah, look, I got this little painting set and this um, illustrator's table. So cool. Yeah, look at this little desk. Aw, my home's slowly starting to take shape here. Uh, let me put some stuff in storage very quickly. Got a good amount of wood actually from those trees, so I am very happy. Put these stones and branches and everything away and then we can sell all the little flowers. That'll be fine. Got some clay. Desperately needed iron nuggets as well. <laughs> some more weeds. And we'll want to sell this wasp. We'll store the pears for right now. Oh, and of course this fossil that we found. So that was actually really good. Ooh, my phone is a beeping. I just finished a visit to the island, one of your islands. You have a lot. Yeah, it can really fill up your old inventory, huh? Uh, let me see. What was this for? Good things in store. Oh, I have a lot in my storage. Nice. <laughs> At capacity, manager. 2,000 nook miles. Wow. Yeah, my storage is, um... <laughs> it's coming along, huh? My goodness. It's all those materials that I'm hoarding. That's what's going on here. Alright, let me go sell these little flowers and this wasp as well to Timmy and Tommy. Welcome! Thank you, friends. So I think at the moment I have 100,000 bells in storage, so I would need another um, 90,000 to pay off my loan. I think it's possible. Even if I just make a few more meters, I think it's definitely possible. I mean, I just made 3,000 bells from that island, plus all of the uh, loot that I got. You know, if I do end up with a lot of spare materials, I could consider selling them. And you also have this box here, which is really interesting. So, if the store is closed, you can put things in that box to sell and you'll get the money the next day. You do take a little bit of a hit in terms of the money you get. But if you're really desperate to sell stuff, you can do so via the selling box, which I think is a really nice addition. Oh man, we're gonna have a bridge here and it's gonna be so cool. Also, I really like how the bamboo looks in this game and I'm very much up for having a nice bamboo forest. Like, look at the colours, it's so pretty. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to do some tidying, like I said, of the upper levels of town. Get that all cleaned up. And I will definitely make all of the furniture bits and pieces and sort out the villager plots. Which is already quite a bit to do, so that'll keep me busy for the rest of the day. Um, I need to actually keep picking up shells. Because even though... They're not worth a huge amount of money, some of them are, but there's a Nook Miles um, challenge to sell shells. So every now and then I do a little walk around the perimeter of the town, of the island, and gather up all the shells. Just so that I can slowly make progress towards that goal because they don't respawn that quickly. So occasionally I'll just do a nice little perimeter walk. It's very soothing, so picking up all the shells. Let me see actually how we're doing with the old Nook Miles. So I've, I've unlocked quite a few things. Still missing some bits and bobs, but I've actually made a really good amount of progress, I think, uh, in the short time I've been playing this game. I think there's a lot of stuff down here that's one-off things, so... Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all coming together. That's the other thing, actually, I forgot to mention. Um, whoops, wrong button. I learned uh, some reactions. One of my villagers came up to me and were like, Hey, do you want to like express yourself? So now I have the ability to do little 
emotiony things. We don't have that many at the moment, but it's, it's still nice. It's still really nice to be able to start getting those. And if you do it with your villagers, they often react as well, so you can end up with like a little dance party, or you can wave at them and they'll wave back. It's very cute and just all round adorable, so that was nice to, to get that going. Because the reactions in previous games you sort of had to unlock over a fairly long period of time. But I'm, I'm glad that we're getting them so early because, like I said, they're really adorable. Let me go and find Pierce over here. I think I saw him. Because I was walking past. Yeah, there he is. He's just having a, a little walk. He's got some wood. Oh, no he doesn't. <laughs> he's hiding it. Ah, oh, he's going under the tree, that's why. That's fair enough. Hey Pierce. Oh, see look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. It's just so happy. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> oh man, this is really adorable. So I think that's enough for today, friends. Um, again, there seems to just be so much to do. Every day, there's just all these little bits and pieces but none of it feels, you know, rushed or forced. This is just kind of how I like to play Animal Crossing is I like to get things done. Um, but it doesn't feel like there's any pressure to do so. This is just kind of how I play. Um, so I'm going to keep getting things done as long as there's things to do. So tonight, um, this evening, I will be finishing up gathering all the furniture for the new houses. And I will also be sure to um, tidy up the higher levels of my town now that we have the ladder, which is very exciting. And I might do another couple little island excursions. We'll see if I can find another villager that I really like. Is that a balloon? I feel like, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just barely saw the shadow and I was like, hold on a second. There we go. Sneaky present. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, I had a daily thing to pop a balloon. Nice. Every little helps with the old Nook Miles. Oh, I have something else as well. Nook Miles for miles. I've just earned miles for earning miles. I love it. <laughs> Even more miles. Perfect. All right, so, um. Let me see what's in this present and then we'll wrap up here. Much like the present. <laughs> Cartoonist set? Are you kidding? <laughs> I already have that. How am I getting duplicates so early? But yeah, this is the cartoonist set and you can put a little light under it. I think that's really cute. Anyways, <laughs> let me go sit on the bench over here and I'll say goodbye for now. So tomorrow, um, possibly museum time? And we'll have a bridge and we'll have all these new houses, so it's all happening. Um, so once again, friends, I will see you tomorrow for some more Animal Crossing. Thanks very much for watching and I'll say goodbye for now. Take care, friends. Bye!